Hello, uh, welcome to the second in this playlist, I suppose you call it playlist on YouTube, second in the series of videos when we're looking at lookups, cross-referencing in Google Sheets. So all of this is in Google Sheets um, and particularly focusing on that and you really need a, to have a Google account or to use Google Sheets to get the most out of this. Now we're going to look at index match in this video. Great, so excellent. So let's have a quick look back at our um, Google Sheets here and as you can see you can see the remains of our VLOOKUP which we finished up from last time uh, looking at B2 and it's cross-referencing to this table here. Now let's create a problem and we'll see how index match can solve the problem. You see the problem with VLOOKUP is that the column that you're cross-referencing so let's just say this with this column here yeah is that this column, column F, the key column or the search column, has to be in ascending order. Yes, sir. -y. So it's got to start with zero at the top and 500,000 at the bottom. And it just doesn't make sense. It looks a right mess, uh, you know. Uh, the second thing as well is that the order of the column, so this one has to be on the left. So let's see if we can muck this up a little bit. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to drag that to the right. Um, select everything over here, that's good, and then drag it back, even in the same place. Maybe it's the width of that, no, it's got nothing to do with that. But as you can see over here, all my ratings have gone to not applicable. <laughs> if you've ever had this experience in a sheet, it's just, ah, it just drives you absolutely crazy. So, how do we solve this problem? Well, enter, ta-da, index match. Now, you might have heard of index match, you know, um, if you've heard of it already and you're thinking, well, you know, I know everything about index match and you could just fast forward straight to the next video at the end. When you look at the end screen, just click and then we'll show you how you can link index match with lookup uh, tables from other sheets. So watch that. But stay tuned. If you haven't really heard of index match uh, or you haven't really got to grips with it. Now, index match is in fact not one, but two functions. One index function and two, the match function. So let's have a look at each one of those individually so we can see how they work. So I'm gonna go here, let's get rid of this here because it's just that not, that, that not applicable, it's just driving me crazy. So we're gonna go here onto C2. Let me just zoom in so we can see here. So let's introduce the first function in index match, the index function. So what does that do? So the index function basically job is to look, say, at a group of figures here. So I'm going to click on the F column. And then basically the second argument will be the row and the third argument will be the column. So we're only going to use the second article, uh, sorry, second argument in this tutorial, the row argument. So what do I mean by that? So if I say, for instance, type a number two in here and then close off my brackets and press enter, I get unrated. Now, why do I do that? Well, that's because it's looking at this here and it's counting the rows down, one, two, and it comes up unrated. If I just go back here and then I change the two to a three, okay, let me just minimize this up uh, here. What do you think it will get? What do you think? Well, if you went for E just here, you'll be absolutely correct. Well done. So that's the index function. So we can see there. So now we need to enter the match function. Now the match function is pretty clever. What it does is it takes the place of the second argument, which is the row argument in the index function. So what I'm gonna do here, uh, my mouse was going a bit crazy there, wasn't it? There we go. Let was just highlight this here, oops. Yeah, let's just highlight that and I think it'll be just easier just to delete that there. That's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the word match. There we go. Now the first argument of match, and this is where I could use my help. So I'm just going to click my help here, click on the drop down list and I'll see match. So the first argument, it says search key, the value to search for, uh, search uh, for. For example, it's two fours together, a bit confusing. 42 cats or one, two, four. Well, in this case, I'm looking for B2. So literally whatever's in B2 is 600 pounds. Type in a comma. Next argument is the range. So where do I want to search? Well, I'm going to search the G column. So I click on the G column here. So it's gonna look for 600 in this column, comma. And then the last argument here, you can see is the search type. Now, if you've looked at the V lookup uh, is sorted option, it looks quite 
considerably easier to understand than this search type. So let's just have a quick look at what that means. So in search type, it says the search method one default, which is the automatic one there, finds the largest value less than or equal to search key when the range is sorted in ascending order. Uh, then in zero, finds the exact value when the range is unsorted and minus one finds the smallest value greater than or equal to search key when the range is sorted in descending order. Now this is the key. This is what makes index match, another reason that makes index match superior to VLOOKUP. So do you remember the two reasons? So the first reason is the columns, you can swap them around. It doesn't matter what order the columns are. You just, because you, you can just select the exact column you're looking for. So I've seen some really crazy things in um, uh, Google Sheets where I've seen column numbers at the top and fancy calculations to work how many columns. Well, you don't need it anymore. You can just go to the exact column you need to. And this one, it doesn't matter which order it's in. You've got those three options instead of two. So let's take the first one. So just get this working just like um, the VLOOKUP. So I'm going to type a one in here and I'm going to close off my bracket and press enter. And now I can see that's unrated. I'm just going to go down and double click on this side here. And you can see that this is all coming back 7,000. Yeah, it's all matching up. Fantastic. All right. So let's reverse the order now. See if we can change uh, the order. So let me just zoom back. So what I need to do here is where it's got unrated and all of this here, I'm just going to highlight this list here. I'm going to go to data and I'm going to sort range. I'm going to sort into descending order and go to sort. There we go. Uh, oops, sorry, ascending order rather. So column F ascending order, or I should could have actually done if I look down here, column G descending order if I wanted to here and it's got no headers that's fine that's better great so you've got a at the top and unrated at the bottom as it should be now we're just going to have to shift these little lot down a bit so what I'm just going to do here is uh, I'm just going to drag this one down one here okie dokie so if it's anything under five five thousand it will be unrated Okie dokie, uh, and, and so forth. So what I need to do is at the top, I need to type in 100, uh, just type a massive figure in. Let's just change that to pounds and pence. There's a little pounds and pence button just over here if you haven't seen it. My goodness, you should have seen it if you're doing this level of Google Sheets. There we go, I've got 100 million there. So anything for a 500,000 to 100 million, yeah, um, or above rather, it's gonna be an A, basically if it's 100 million or above. So you'll see why I needed to change that. So if I just came over here now, uh, these are all coming up not applicable because it should be in descending order, but now I can change, or in ascending order, but now I can go in and change, let me just zoom in so you can see that to minus one and press enter. Now you can see that would be unrated. So if I just copy that and drag that down like so, great. So now if I just move back here, you can see it's all picking up. DDs, E's here. This 100,000 here has got to be, so say for instance, let's just take um, Acme at a real change around the circumstances, shall we? And it got 750,000. Okay, so you can see there that that one there got an A. Okay, now the problem is with this, if somebody actually gets over 100 million, so let's say this got 200, one, two, three, one, two, three, so many numbers. You see now, because this is above, you've got the not applicable. So you just got to watch out for that one there. So what I'm going to do is just bring this down to 400,000 or so, and then that's a B. And then zoom. Yeah, brilliant. I hope that makes sense with index match. So just to go over again in index match, we can see that's the index column. This is the column it's going to compare against. Uh, and then if I just look very closely here, um, if I just go inside the match function here, you can see the range, this one dimensional array to be searched and the search type. Absolutely fantastic. The search type allows you to go up, down or find the exact value. So now that you know index match, what you want to be doing is going into your Google Sheets and removing all of those extra VLOOKUPs and all of those extra helper cells with the 
column names and column uh, numbers across the top and doing some calculations to work it out, you don't need them. Index Match will do the job. Now there's one last video in this playlist, so don't tune out or anything. Click on the next video because with that one, we'll show you how to take this to the next level by linking to a completely different Google spreadsheet, completely different. And in that way, you can have a sheet full of lookups, date tables and, uh, and other tables as well. I mean, the possibilities are endless. <sighs> Thank you for watching.